G'day guys, welcome to Aussie Griller. Today I'm making maple pork chops with just a hint of Asian flavour, so I hope you enjoy. Alright guys, so for starters you will of course need some pork chops. And for this to work properly, you need these pork chops to be at least an inch thick. Any cut you like will work. And I'm going to brine these to get some good flavours all the way through. So for this, you'll need a litre of water. It needs to be fridge temperature. Two tablespoons of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper. Now I know it sounds like a lot of salt, but trust me, it needs to be that much. Now add in a couple of tablespoons of crushed ginger and about a cup of maple syrup. Mix this together well, make sure everything's dissolved. And then gently place those pork chops into the brine. And what this will do is it will suck all of those flavours in the brine, into the chops, and place this into the fridge for three hours, no more and no less. And while that's going on, I'm going to make a glaze for these pork chops. Two parts maple syrup to one part keycap manis. And for those of you who haven't used keycap manis before, it's basically a sweet soy sauce from Indonesia. And that is done. So once your pork chops come out of the brine, just rinse them off and pat them dry, and then just brush on a bit of olive oil. So it's time to cook. Here I've got the barbecue set up with two different zones. I've got some foil and a trivet for indirect cooking and the grills for grilling. And what this enables me to do is sear those pork chops and then place them onto the trivet so they can roast and finish their cooking. So on a nice hot grill, about 260 degrees Celsius lid temperature, I'm just going to give those pork chops a real quick sear on both sides. I don't want them to cook all the way through. and then onto the trivet. And then take some of that glaze and give them a good baste. Now these will take 10 to 15 minutes to finish cooking with the lid down at 220 degrees Celsius. And every three to four minutes, just give them a little bit of extra glaze. And this is what you'll get. Absolutely delicious guys. Enjoy. And that is top notch. Give it a go. Make sure you check out my indoor cooking channel, Google Plus and Facebook. The links are in the description bar along with a full list of ingredients for today's recipe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all on Wednesday.